Good day, grade 10 learners! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. So for today, I will be discussing about arithmetic means. In arithmetic sequence, all the terms between any two terms are called the arithmetic means of these two terms. For example, meron tayong arithmetic sequence 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. So, bakit tinawag itong arithmetic sequence? Kasi ang common difference nila ay 4. So, para makuha yung second term and the next terms, mag add lang tayo dito ng 4. So, 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 4 is 12, plus 4 is 16, plus 4 is 20. So, ano yung tinatawag natin uh, arithmetic means? So, yung arithmetic means natin, ito yung lahat daw ng terms between any two terms. Halimbawa, 8, 12, and 16 are arithmetic means between 4 and 20. Again, itong 4, 12, at 16 na yung tinatawag nating arithmetic means. Okay, so let's have an example. Paano ba tayo kukuha ng arithmetic means or mag insert ng 3 arithmetic means between 18 and 30? But first, let us identify our given. So our first term is 18. So, mag-start tayo dito sa 18, kaya ang ating a sub 1 ay 18. And then, the number of terms, yung n natin ay, since meron na tayo dito ang dalawa at mag insert tayo ng tatlo, in between 18 and 13, our n is 5. And then, we're going to use the formula for arithmetic sequence, we have here a sub n equals to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 d. So, ang hahanapin natin dito ay yung common difference para ma-add natin doon sa first term. May insert na natin tatlong arithmetic means hanggang makuha natin yung pinaka last term ng ating uh, finite sequence. So, finite siya kasi ay merong uh, last term, which is yung 30. Okay? Next, your a sub n is 30 equals first term is 18 plus 5 minus 1 d. Next, we have here 30 equals to 18 plus, then subtract 5 minus 1, we have here 4D. And then, yung 18 ay ililipat natin dito sa my left side. So, we just get the additive inverse of 18. So, it will become 30 minus 18 equals to 4D. And then, 30 minus 18, you have 12 equals to 4D. And then, let us apply the multiplication property of equality by multiplying 1 fourth to both a side or we just divide it by 4. So, therefore, our D is 3. So, our common difference is 3. So now, we can now insert 3 arithmetic means. So, it will be like this one. So, 18, blank, 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 and 30. So, we are going to use our common difference 3. So, by adding 3 to the next term. So, 18 plus 3, we have 21 plus 3, 24. Plus, one, plus 3, 27 plus 3 is 30. So, therefore, the three arithmetic means between 18 and 30 are 
21, 24, and 27. Next example, find the arithmetic mean between 8 and 20. So it can be written as 8 blank 20. So the arithmetic mean between the two numbers Kasi hanapin lang natin yung pagitan ng dalawang numbers Ang tawag doon ay average of the two numbers So in this case, hindi na natin gagamitin yung formula ng arithmetic sequence So we just add the two numbers then divided by 2 So we have here X equals to 8 plus 20 over 2 we have here 28 divided by 2 our x is 14 so therefore our arithmetic mean is 14 Okay, so that concludes our lesson for today about arithmetic means. So I hope that you learn something. See you on our next video lesson.